Okay. All right. Well, let's do this. Yeah, I mean, the movement in all of the games is just super cool. In 12 minutes, will someone please remind me that this is a 46 Robot Masters run, not a 1 through 6 run? So I don't accidentally start playing Wily 1. <laughs> Ah, Mega Man 1 physics. Scott is decent at Odyssey. Best Odyssey runner in Rochester, New York, I think. Mega Man 1. It's not a very good game, but it's... It's such a good speed game. It's so good. I think you're the best Brawl Runner in Rochester, given that you are presently the best Brawl Runner in the world. Alright, big eye can't mercy kill this run. Hey, Queen Turtles, thank you so much for the ten dollar donation. Uh Queen Turtles said, here's a few bucks to go to a new controller. I already have all the stuff I need to make a new controller. I have spare pads and stuff. Thank you very much though. I'm kinda hanging on to this one for the moment, mostly because it's you know, in theory is really good and I'm just reluctant to move on. Uh but also because I'm gonna have a really special new controller coming in the mail soon. Uh, there's a guy named uh, Jeff Katz who designed basically a modern SNES controller circuit board, you know, put it in an original SNES controller, um, with mechanical switches and, like, Bluetooth functionality and stuff, and he's sending some out to some speedrunners to test. And so I'm gonna have one coming in the mail soon, and I'm really excited about it. K-A-T-Z. Anything off-limits in this category? Uh, nope, you can use any, like, glitches and zips. You just have to beat every stage, or every boss, really. Yeah, a SNES controller with mechanical switches. I'm really excited. Um, it should be coming in the mail pretty soon. He sent it out, uh, last week, but it's coming from, uh, across the ocean, so... Uh, I don't know if he's taking any more signups for kind of the beta. I would assume so, Avon Chaos. Yeah, I would assume he'll be selling them. Uh, but yeah, I will soon enough be using that on stream uh, to try it out. It was really nice too, we didn't even have to like pay for it or anything. Just had to pay shipping to get the controller there. And, you know, we had to send in a SNES controller. Yeah! Sometime in around one month, Virtual Boy Capture is not only going to be possible, but affordable. I'm, like, so beyond excited, because holy shit, Virtual Boy Capture. Um, 7, yes. I uh, don't know when, I still need to finish learning, uh, 7, Rockman, and Forte 9, and 10. Uh, don't know when, though, honestly. They're not really sparking my interest at the moment. Uh, X Games, X2 someday, maybe. Otherwise, probably not, but my time with X2 might change that opinion. Yeah, Zeratech, Virtual Boy Capture, Furtech, uh, F-U-R-R-T-E-K. The person who made the first, um, or at least first well-documented, uh, video out-modded Virtual Boy. Um, is in the process of finishing up a printed circuit board that you can install on your Virtual Boy and then solder an RGB connector to of your choice 
And boom, Virtual Boy video out. Um, he said it's gonna be about one month before he's ready to sell them. That's two big eyes in a row. I would argue that not getting stuck is more than a bonus. I mean, if I got stuck, I would have to start the run over. Ah! Well, that's bad. Hey! Bro, bro, ho, bro. Thank you so much for the 100 bits. 100 whole heckin' snoot boops. Thank you so much. Thank you for the kind words as well. I mean, Liz, you could easily downscale it to composite. Yeah, Virtual Boys are really expensive, which sucks, but we... Hex and I have one. So, we are very excited. This also means, I think, the most exciting thing about this is that Hex is going to be able to submit Virtual Boy speedruns to GDQ. I mean, yeah, from natively RGB, it's pretty easy to downscale the composite, uh, especially with the Virtual Boy, given that it is, in fact, uh, monochromatic. You can just take the red, uh, like the R channel, oh god, the lag, plus uh, the H and V sync signals, and just combine those into one wire, and boom, you have composite. If my understanding of how that works is correct, which it might not be. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can do here. Cool. I always get scared that I'm gonna get subpixeled out of that wrap. I never actually have been, though, I don't think. We can talk, Liz. There are Virtual Boy emulators out there, uh, Malamet, and there are ones that are compatible with VR, I know. Um, which is way better than doing it on an original Virtual Boy. Let me tell you, we have a Virtual Boy in the house. I've tried it. It's awful. It's so bad. Wario Lands, Boxer, Jack Bros, uh, and Panic Bomber are the four really good games on the Virtual Boy. There's a couple other good ones. Um, Hex, the resident Virtual Boy expert, um, stands by the hot take that the Virtual Boy, all in all, has an above average games library. Uh, it's just that the console held them back. Uh, no, Claire. Except for, you know, this Virtual Boy capture that's about to be a thing. It's technically already a thing, it just requires, like, 150-some dollars in circuit board parts and a lot of skill in DIY circuitry. Um, but the Furtech circuit board that's going to be available hopefully soon is going to change that and make it really affordable and accessible. It's still going to require some soldering. Um, you have to solder on your own uh, video connector and, you know, put it on the Virtual Boy because you have to drill a hole for it and stuff, but... That's a really simple job that any, you know, retro electronics mod shop can totally do. Best zip in the game. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what the, like, production run on these Virtual Boy boards is gonna be. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, we're dead. Okay.
different eyes to different colors. Um, so the way the board works is one board actually only outputs one eye in video. Um, you piggyback it off of, you know, the video software for, or like the video hardware for that side of the Virtual Boy. You'd have to buy two of them to output both eyes. You know, if you wanted to like actually run a real Virtual Boy into a nice VR headset or something along those lines. Which is a thing you could totally do. Um, I grabbed the ladder in the wrong way, Avon Chaos, and so when I got to the, the top screen, I was two pixels from the ceiling, not three. And if you're two pixels from the ceiling when you try to zip, you die. Two more robots, then we move on to a worse game. That's the wrong robot. Oh, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be really fun. I don't think I've ever done, um... We're just gonna do this, honestly. Hey, Funky Squid! Beep. Don't know if that was necessarily the fastest method, but it was most certainly the safest. You learn to be able to tell, Avon Chaos. Um, you know, on a capture setup like mine, it's really easy. Usually when speedrunners can tell they were too early or too late, um, by frames for a trick, they're usually telling that by the outcome, not the visual response. You can't see- you can't see a frame. Um, so if a speedrunner says they're one frame early, they usually know, uh, because of what happened, not because of how it looked. Hi there. Twitch delay, please. Yeah, I'm not on low delay beta. Maybe I should get on low delay beta, but... Well, that was a bad bomb. Because <laughs> it optimally runs at 11 frames per second. <laughs> yeah... That game was super cool. Real talk? The real Vincenzo did an awesome job with that run, and I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I got the pleasure of hosting it. It was a lot of fun. Low delay beta is like two seconds from what I've been seeing. What am I doing? These are not my strats. These are not my strats. This is not my house. Space Blader, ha ha. Ow. Ow. Hey, RB dubs.
Yeah, I'm not using it because I prefer the stream stability. Oh, that's bad. Onto a worse game. I should have gone for difficult mode, honestly. That was a mistake. I'm gonna lose quite a bit of time. For 1 through 6, any percent I do normal, but I should have gone for difficult. Yo, thanks, Sil. Ah, oh, not quite. 6. Best music, by far. Oh, heck. Well, this is a run. <sighs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, you lose about 45 seconds from playing on this version of the game. Uh, minus the time it's gonna- the time I'm saving defeating the Robot Masters on normal difficulty instead of hard difficulty. See, the turnarounds on Flashman in this game are really easy, but they're impossible on Mega Man 3. I just lose a ton of time here. Yeah, English version. Oh well, next 46 run we'll play on Japanese and save a bunch of time. I mean, I would much prefer if this was a speedrun, honestly. I want this to be under two hours. Uh, no. You can use, uh, whichever region of the game. Uh, that being said, for every game, there's either no differences or a decidedly faster version, which I suppose is kind of a redundant statement. Uh, but I guess what I'm saying is there's no reason to, to limit it to specific versions when there's either no difference or, okay, this one's faster, you should use this one. There's no significant gameplay differences, is what I was trying to say. And I ended up just saying something silly and redundant. Uh, Avin Chaos, you're not monopolizing the chat at all. 
Uh, which robot master designs are my favorite? Uh, Charge Man, Gyro Man, Centaur Man. Uh, least favorite, I don't know. I love all of my robot children equally. Oh, Splash Woman, duh, best robot master. I love Astro Man and Galaxy Man a lot. I think Sword Man's design is really unique. That's when I split in Mega Man 2. Not at screen fade, because there is no screen fade. Orb. That was Orb. Thank you for listening. Yeah, that's a Mega Man Borb. It's a Baborb, a Blue Boy Orb. It's great. There's also a Paborb, a Proto Borb. I guess that would just be a Porb. Oh well, no, that would be a Proto Orb. Which, arguably, that's what that is. So yeah, there's. Someday, I'll get candy skip in a run. I think I've gotten it, like, once. Zoda. I'm literally playing on normal difficulty in a 46 Robot Masters run because I'm an idiot. Don't even worry about Heat 3rd. This is just full casual. Ow. Oh, I missed a 1-up. Oh yeah, let me go back and get that. Sorry. Never go full casual. I realized like 30 seconds into Flashman stage that like, wait, why did I just choose normal mode? This is 46. And so yeah, I'm losing like 40 seconds for no reason. Oh well. Wanna be pro, yo. That, that is the place to be for sure. I mean, my Mega Man 2 times suck. I don't enjoy playing this game, so... I guess relative to the rest of the Mega Man series. I'm playing it right now, because I do in fact enjoy it. But I would rather be playing pretty much any other Mega Man game. Duh. Brain? Wanna, wanna work with me here? Tell me which buttons to push? Ever? No? Okay. I'm realizing now that I forgot to turn on my lamp today. So I probably look super dark. Oh well. Hey, Nail Bunny. Nail Bunny, excuse me. There was an eye in there. Zeratek, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Nail Bunny. Nail Bunny, congrats on your borbification.
Yo, DJ Conkers, thank you so much for subscribing. Congratulations on becoming a royal borb. Why did I do that? Which Mega Man game has my favorite music? Six, by far. Six is the best, and it has the best music, and it's the best. Wow, I cannot menu today. It's almost like I barely played Mega Man 2 in forever. Oh my gosh! What pony? Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, why isn't there an alert? Unless I missed it? Are alerts off or something? Did I did I mess something up? Because alerts should definitely be going. I might have accidentally turned alerts off or something, uh, so to everyone that subbed, sorry. Yeah, I might have, like, accidentally muted them or something dumb. Uh, I can't really look into that right now, but soon. And by soon, I mean, um, the first long break I get is after the Doc Robots and Mega Man 3- or no, this is 46 Robot Masters, uh, no. <laughs> it's not happening till the end of this run. That's not how you do that. Um, that's not how you do that. <laughs> this is what I get for turning off my alerts, honestly. This is very bad. Yeah, I have Streamlabs open, and I try to thank everyone. Because I appreciate it when people give me money. A lot. Strong agree, Liz. Money is good. It's it's quite useful for uh, being alive. Although the money I get on stream doesn't go to life, it goes to streaming. Streaming or some of my personal expenses, I guess. Why am I doing this? I should not have gone for that. That was really dumb. That's the soft lock zip. I don't know why I did that. I guess just muscle memory. Probably didn't even save any... Well, I did save some time for sure. Probably didn't save much at all though with how long it took me to do. <sighs> oh well. Alright, so metal's in the bottom left. Hey, Drago, thanks for the good luck. Hey, Brimbo. Yeah, go get Brian in here so he can watch me play this game poorly. And by this game, I mean these six games. All of them. Bad. Well, hey, at least I did that right for once. I would definitely sell out at esports teams at me. I want a cool jersey and 
being paid money to travel to events. Well, not really being paid money to travel as much as having my expenses covered. That would be really nice. I mean, I'm not a big enough streamer. Absolutely 100% agree. Settled plan. The man is the worst robot master. <laughs> big mood. So fun fact, this whole trick only saves about 15 seconds. Oh no! That's bad, we fucked up. Well there goes all of that time. Dang, I did that in my 1 through 6 run at GDQ also. That trick isn't hard! I shouldn't ever miss that. Well, hey, at least I know the strats for that room, because that's my favorite room in the Zipless run. See if I remember how to do this room. Ow. Uh, 404? It was really bad, Twy. It was really bad. I had two console crashes in Cossack 2. Thanks, Ice Watch. All right, one more Robot Master, then we can move on to a good game. Please hit the start button. Ugh. 3.28. Yeah. I could easily get down to, like, 3.30. Oops. I just need to actually play good in every game. Um, excuse me? I've never gotten hit there before. That's never happened. That's never happened before, yuck yuck. I need to like, train myself to be like, mentally capable of playing Me Mega Man well for three and a half hours before I can even get anywhere remotely near that time. And we got the hardest jump in the game, let's go. Oh, come on. Ah. I never remember how to set this up after I miss it. That seems fine, that might be too low. Okay. This is such a bad run.
This is the definitive song in Mega Man 2, by the way. Just so we're clear. That would be pretty hilarious plan. No, Claire. Robot Master is defined as any boss that gives you a weapon. Now we have to deal with dumb ladders. I wonder how Hex's stream is going. She's doing her first run of Minish Cap today. One of y'all should should go check her out and give me an update on where she's at and how frustrated she is. Zero Blade Edge. So the Mega Man killers technically count as robot masters. It's kind of a gray area. But I mean, I don't think anyone's ever run a multi-Game Boy Robot Masters category, so... Oh, come on, Magnet Man. I should have gone in for the kill. Whatever. Handing in pendant things. What if I don't know anything about Minish Cap? Oh, the final boss, as in, um... I mean, you don't get a power from the Wily Dinosaur. Hola, Sanosuke, como estas? I would believe you, Claire, because I know nothing about it. I fire that first one too early, always. Oh my god, the bees! The bees! Ugh. Why can't I ever do that first screen of Hardman stage correctly? Hey, Ellie, thank you so much for the $5 donation. Uh, I don't know if you saw, though, I'm not actually going to be attending ESA. Uh, some personal stuff happened, and I can't make the trip. Uh, I can't afford to make it, really. Uh, so yeah, I had to drop. Um, I'm unhappy. But that's kind of how, how it be. Ow. ESA is July 20th to 29th, so relatively soon. I mean, as you can see, I am not, in fact, in Sweden right now. Um, I guess you wouldn't be able to see that if you don't know. Uh, this is, in fact, my room in Rochester. 
Yeah, I had to cancel my trip to Sweden. Um, and I did my best to make... What the hell is that? Football giveaway. The fuck? Okay. Have fun. Sure. Um, but I, I, since I'm not in Sweden, I can't afford to make the trip to ESA separately. It would have cost way too much uh, to switch my plane tickets around. Hey, coding by a dummy. It's World Cup emotes. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's fine, Nyama. I don't care. I'm just, I just was like, wait, what is this thing? I'd never seen this in any chat before. Oh, my back kind of hurts, honestly. Need to be better posture and stuff. Yeah, accurate. Thanks, coding by a dummy. It's a sign for me to play Mega Man Soccer, no thanks. Uh, I'm staying over here, Ellie. Tiger Electronics Mega Man win. Okay, real talk. While I fuck everything up. Oh my god. Real talk. I tried a Tiger Electronics handheld Mega Man 3 while I was at SGDQ. We found a local retro game store and they had one. It was horrible. It was the worst thing I have ever laid my hands on. You should come to the UK. Uh, yeah, wanna buy me $1,500 plane tickets? I mean, I would love to. I have a really close friend in the UK, and, you know, more, less close friends who I'd still love to see, but it's so expensive, especially when I want to be spending my money on, um, you know, GDQs and other events. I mean, some of them are okay for what they are. They're just, like, cheap mini games on a low-res LCD screen, but the Mega Man 3 one is kind of atrocious, honestly. It's really bad. I mean, I'm already in a collapsing neoliberal hellhole, so... Uh, I'm in the... I'm... I guess I'm technically in the Northeast. I'm in upstate New York. Ah, damn it. 
400? How are you finding overseas tickets for that cheap? I really don't want to go to space, honestly. I quite like having, like, gravity and air. Stuff like that. It was like 2.30 or 2.45, something really bad. Alright, well we got the one tile slides in my Mega Man 3 run today. Good start. Come on, game. I mean, it really depends on where you're going to travel internationally, but my tickets back and forth between Rochester and Arlanda, uh, Stockholm, have historically cost about $1,200 round trip. Yeah, this right here, this is my favorite classic Mega Man song. Mega Man Sound Effects ASMR. Two runs in a row. Let's go. Sometimes things happen, Aquatic Espeon. Are you sound of me? Are you proud of me, Brian? Are you sound of me? Where in the US coding by a dummy? Because that's not how it works. I can't just like buy tickets to the United States and travel from where I need to go from. Rochester is a small airport and I shouldn't menu there. Would be more pleased with jumping Rush Marine. Jeez. I work so hard to please you, and oh, you just you just want jumping Rush Marine. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing, coding by a dummy. I live six hours from New York City. Like, I'm in New York State. Do you have any idea how big New York State is? Cause I can't just travel to New York City. I would then need to pay for at minimum a like hundred and twenty a like hundred dollar train ticket or bus pass to get to Rochester.
If you don't jump for the third shot, why am I bad? Okay, we worked. It worked anyways. New York State is very big. Also, JFK is a huge airport. Like, of course you'll get cheaper tickets there. It's JFK. But basically, to make an overseas trip, I have to buy a ticket from JFK or Dulles or Newark to where I'm going and tag on an extra round trip from Rochester, which is, you know, generally in the range of like three to four hundred dollars. This continues to be my favorite screen in Mega Man 3. Except for when I mess it up like an idiot. Fly out of Toronto. Yeah, sure, let me just drive three hours. Like, I, I appreciate the advice here, uh, gang, but please understand that I travel a lot and I'm well aware of how much it costs to get places. I mean, it's most certainly cheaper to take a train, but that's like eight hours of travel time as opposed to like one and a half. Yeah, like... I appreciate it, gang, but really, I, I know I'm well aware of what it costs me to travel, and I don't need advice on how to get places cheaper. Ah. Yeah, we need teleportation. Just kidding, as soon as teleportation is invented, they're gonna capitalism on it. That jump scares me every time. And suddenly make it impossible to go anywhere without paying as much as you'd pay for a plane ticket. Yeah, I've taken the train from Rochester to New York City before. It's really not very fun. I mean, it's not that bad. You just sit in a relatively comfortable seat for about eight hours. Hey, Jarkin13, thank you so much for subscribing. Apologies for no alert. Congratulations on becoming a royal borb. Hey, Camellius. I mean, that's what it's like when you're not near a major airport, coding by a dummy. It's it's okay, but I would advise you in the future to not assume that people don't know what they're talking about, especially streamers who work for events. We travel a lot, so. Yeah, you're spoiled. Yeah, holy shit. TwitchCon ticket prices are fucking preposterous. Like, I was really excited to attend GDQX, but $180? I can't afford that for a three-day event where I'm already going to have to pay for cross-country plane tickets and three nights of probably expensive hotel because California. I can't afford that.
All right, well, now we have a better slide. And now we can charge. I almost hecked up there. I'm like 55 into Mega Man 4. This isn't very good pace. Oh well. It's my first real run of this category. It'll be what it'll be. Gosh dang it. Okay, we fixed it. Uh, that's not a thing. Oh, gosh. Coded by a dummy, hold. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the $100 donation. Holy moly. <laughs> oh my god. I'm really sorry I don't have alerts up today, thank you so much. Um, the Game Boy versions of the Mega Man games are very different games. They're not ports, uh, they're completely different. Thank you so much, Coding by a Dummy, oh my gosh. I'll eat my six seconds or whatever. Yes, it's very possible to make that jump. I don't use coil in RTA attempts, but it's not worth the risk um, of messing it up in a multi-game run like this. In Mega Man's um, 2, 9, and 10, uh, four tile gaps like that. Four tile? Five tile? I think it's five tile. Whatever it is, gaps like that are extremely difficult, but when you have a slide, it's pretty free. Uh, my alerts are mysteriously not on right now. You didn't actually miss it, coding by a dummy. But thank you very much. I- oh my gosh. I'm trying to, like, express emotion right now, but I'm also fighting Pharaoh Man, which is a rather difficult combination, honestly. 
but yeah, thank you. Holy, holy heck. Ah, subpixels. Four or five frames, yeah. I don't remember my menus. Blech. I literally cannot, like, understate. Y'all have been so generous today with all the, like, sub-gifts and stuff. And the couple of donations. Oh, gosh. Heck. Okay, so this is gonna be one of those ring stages. Got it. Oh my god. Yeah, so this is gonna be one of those rings. Got it. Oh my god. Oh, I fucking hate that screen. Great, I have like no health now. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks, game. Lizstar, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Coding by a Dummy. Coding by a Dummy, congratulations on your borbification. Uh, uh. Oh my god, this controller! Ugh. Why are you doing this to me, video game? I love you too, Liz. Um, I'm using a Super Famicom controller with a SNES 2 NES adapter, but this controller isn't working super well anymore. I really should just start playing on a different one, but... Scared there for a second. Uh, there? Maybe? Thanks, Gimmick Soldier 152. Yeah, the first, the, the vertical section of Ringman stage is by far the most difficult part. After that, things calm down considerably. It's still kind of a pain, though. No worries, coding by a dummy. You don't have to be subbed. I, I do not... I do not care. I mean, I do care. You subscribing means a lot to me, but, like, you don't have to. Blech. Yeah, no. Ow. Thanks, Eddie. There's no lag in Mega Man 4. 
What are you talking about, Dark Kane? Hey, Cure Light Wounds, thank you so much for subscribing. For spending that valuable Twitch Prime sub on me. Thank you very much. Congratulations on your Borbification. Thank you so much, Cure Light Wounds. The good news about this run is once you pass Mega Man 2, the games only get better from there. Progressively. Because you have you have one, and then two, then three, four, five, six is just the best game. So yeah, things get better. Ow. Okay. Okay, well, this stage is going away. Nice! was a kind of crummy skull stage, but... Yeah, that's how it'd be. Perfection. Thanks, I will. Because I like playing Mega Man. Ghost Man's weapon is garbage. Well played, Dark King. Dive Man stage is our warm up for Mega Man 6. Ow, that's bad. Because when you're underwater in Mega Man's 4 and 5, you cannot slide. Not giving yourself a headache is a good thing to do. Coding by a dummy? The game you should speedrun is whatever game you could play a hundred times in a row without getting frustrated or bored. There's gotta be a game that you love that much and like... If there's no single game, well guess what? Variety streaming exists. You can play one game for one day, and then just stream something else the next day. Those things take two hits. 
I'm really surprised I'm alive right now. Final Fantasy VII, 100%. All right, well, we're going for this, because in theory, I should never take a hit during this fight. Yeah, I got off my pattern. Yeah, I know that feeling, uh, Dark Kane. I used to stream on really crummy internet. My parents... Um, have 1.5 upload, and that 1.5 upload is shared between, at least at the time, what was five people. Uh, the other four of whom that weren't me, who really liked Netflix and that sort of stuff, so... Nope. When is Rush Marine percent? I mean, I wouldn't call console challenges variety streaming. I mean, it's different games, sure, but it's a very specific reason that you're playing them. Oh god, Scott, please no. Please no. Do not do that. Do literally anything but that. As kids, we didn't get frustrated as easily. Is my genuine answer to that question. Every PC game. Hey, Set Zero Must, thank you so much for subscribing. Resubscribing four months in a row. Thank you so much. Thank you for maintaining your royal borbitude. Please don't speedrun life. Unless you're speedrunning happy ending percent. Super Smash Brothers Brawl all challenges. Wait. Absolutely counts coding by a dummy. You've got an advantage, sure, but you're still speedrunning. Nice screen.
Nice perfection. Yo, Yu Gi Oh! Forbidden Memories 100%. Breath of the Wild Hundo is like 40 hours at this point. <laughs> 19? I mean, it could have gotten faster. So now in this game, anytime you get hit, uh, you lose your buster charge. Well, we're off to a great start. Also, your slide in this game resets at the begin at a screen transition. So you slide at the beginning of every screen. You can't carry a slide through. Multi mega speed runs are really cool to me because of how many like little things you have to know to do well. Oh, my Buster is not fully charged. Also, the Buster Charge is really fast in this game. Yeah, skipping the beat letters is weird. Sorry about the sniffles and stuff, I'm still kinda GD flu. Beatless full game is rough, but Beatless Robot Masters is no big deal. It it lets you not do the hardest arrow in the run, maybe. Hardest arrow in Robot Masters, for sure. Also, in this game, you can buffer directional inputs to the screens or the, the stage select screen, which is great. Ow. I knew I should have practiced gravity. I knew I should have practiced gravity. Didn't need to grab that letter, but that's the strat I actually know how to do, so... I didn't feel like risking it to try and do something faster, because... I haven't actually practiced, uh, beatless... ...strats, so...
<laughs> Practice gravity in real life. You know, I, I meant Gravity Man stage. You can buffer inputs to stage select, I say, and then proceed to not do it. Oh, I did the wrong stage? Oh dear. Remember to stretch, kids. Borb. Ugh, I love speedrunning. There we go. So I just warped to the boss. That saves about 15 seconds. Okay, well, at least Crystal isn't very hard to bust her. Yeah, so since we're only doing the Robot Masters, we don't need to collect the beat letters. Uh, which means we can do that trick, because we don't need to get the letters. So basically what I did there was warp to the end of the stage. By dying on the same frame that I summoned one of those, or spawned one of those, like, red two-part enemies, I basically did arbitrary code execution by putting that enemy's sprite data in um, the slots. One, the slot that sets our screen counter, we set it to about 140, which is complete nonsense and way too high. So it sets it back to the most recent checkpoint, aka the boss door. Uh, the other thing that it sets, and this is kind of an unfortunate consequence, um, is it sets the respawn timer to nine, when normally when you die, it gets set to one. So you wait about 45 seconds to respawn instead of five. And that's called Crystal Warp. Basically, this game is weird. I should have seen that coming. Uh, this is five, zeto -san. Okay, well that's one of the, like, most inconsequential deaths in the run, so whatever. Whatever, we're gonna take that safe. For next run of 46, I need to actually, like, practice beatless strats. Because I don't really know them.
Uh, no, Zeto-san, this is an original Famicom. Uh, Anniversary and Legacy Collections are considered separate, uh, games as far as speedrunning is concerned, because they're inaccurate. But yeah, I'm playing on an EverDrive, which is essentially a fake cart for a real retro console that has an SD card to load games from instead of, um, you know, being an original cart, so I can play all six games on the same cart. Uh, if you're about to say, but it looks way too good to be a Famicom, uh, I'm using an RGB modded Famicom being upscaled through an open source scan converter to HD quality. Comfy walk. Ow, we jumped too fast. Uh, 100 in parts, 100 in labor, roughly. Worth every penny, though. Nice. That's a new strat for me. I've incorporated that since the last time I was doing runs of this game. Don't need the letter. I used an extra gravity hold by accident. Thank you, DJ Conkers. Uh, no, Zedo-san, I'm actually playing on a BenQ RL 2460HM uh, ultra low lag monitor. It has nine milliseconds of input delay. Um, and I'm playing directly off of the feed of the OSSC, which has essentially zero lag. It technically has lag somewhere around like one seventeen thousandth of a second or something. Um, I'm using a StarTech USB 3 HD cap. I would like to upgrade to a data path at some point. I actually own a data path card, but my computer doesn't like it. I collected Gravity Letter for Swag. Yeah, I've put... I've put a lot into stream and capture quality. Because it's something I care about, and also good CRTs give me migraines, so... It was kind of worth it. If I was playing on CRT, I wouldn't be able to play for this long. Like, I would not be able to do a run like 46 Robot Masters. Nice. I mean, that's not the StarTech. That's the Famicom. Weird Wiggles is just how the NES works. And it also happens pretty frequently with other retro consoles. Well, I mean, yeah, the, the lag on my setup is subframe. There's essentially zero delay. If we're being technical, there's maybe 10 milliseconds total. But like, you can't, you can't detect 10 milliseconds. Anyone who claims they can detect 10 milliseconds is in fact lying. Or, you know, is superhuman. Um, yeah, I just crop them out. I crop about four pixels. Mm -hmm. 
Um, these don't change the game at all. Uh, changing the game would be super against the rules. It's just for display and capture. Alright, we don't need to grab the arrow in here. Or the arrow, the letter. I dedicate this animal room to Scott, my favorite Super Smash Bros. Brawl world record holder. We might die here if this fight goes poorly. Hey, we didn't die. Hey, Paradox Rose, thank you so much for subscribing for six months. Congratulations on becoming a silver tier board, which you can't see because my alerts are mysteriously missing right now, um, which I will fix uh, after stream TM. Hey, Mother Brain, more like good luck with the run because this is it. I'm not doing this again today. Uh, but thank you for the good luck nonetheless. Which robot master would I go out on a date with? Uh, the correct answer is none of them, because they're my children. But which one would I take out to brunch to hear about how their life is going? All of them. Especially Splash Woman and Centaur. I feel a responsibility to go for Bubble Skip. I don't want to, but I feel like I should. Twitch chat, egg me on. <laughs> oh, I messed up. <laughs> you didn't egg me on hard enough. Gosh dang it, Twitch chat. Alright, we'll go for it again, I guess. Because y'all believe in me. Uh, well, we missed it, but we saved it. Apparently. Okay, well, uh, we made it through. Eggs. <laughs> Please don't throw eggs at the screen. Those are gross. This monitor is expensive. I basically did bubble skip. So my Mega Man 6 Robot Masters will probably be somewhere in the neck of about 20 minutes. Uh, just for perspective on what this run may turn out to be.
Oh, hey, we don't need to get the letter. Ha! Oh, I should have grabbed it anyways. It made the game lag. Flu, why do you do this to me? This is live split, uh, Zeratech. Come on, Capcom Presents. Mega Man spin-off game. I wouldn't count Battle Network or Zero as spin-offs, but... Favorite non-classic series? Probably Zero. Off to a great start with Mega Man 6. Now we have to get used to no more um, slide cancels, or jumps out of slides. Yes, more slide cancels. Oh, come on. Oh, improv room. I mean, it's a spin off in that sense. But I would argue that Mega Man as a series is comprised of many sub-series, including classic series. Which is not just like the only Mega Man to me. I mean, sure, it's the best one. ZX is the sequel series to Zero, so it's main. Spin-offs are games like Rockboard and Battle and Chase. Hey, NMC Gaming. Soccer. DOS isn't a spin-off. It's technically a member of the classic series. As much as some people would like to forget about it. Yeah, the Power Battle arcade games are really cool. I want to get the actual PCB for one of those, but they're both rather expensive. And I haven't been able to track one down that's available. Favorite Mega Man spinoff is Smash 4. Well, that was a first screen of flame for sure. Uh, no right in. Oh, 
Ух! Фух! That was the thing that happened. Take my free E tank, I guess. I would describe Mega Man Network Transmission as a spin off, yeah. Because it's a different uh, genre than the main game. I have a copy of Network Transmission. Network Transmission isn't a very good game casually. Sound and video is slightly out of sync. Uh, I can fix that in a second. Thank you for letting me know. That should put them closer together. The StarTech tends to drift a little bit with video speed, and I've been using it for about three hours, so... Mega Man Battle Network does have awesome character designs. Let me know if that solves it, because that should. Uh, if that doesn't solve it, then I got nothing, so. I love that jump at the end there. Okay. I try to remember to do that between runs, but I don't always. And by don't always, I mean I don't usually, honestly. Getting the safety E tank. Ah, not quite. Ugh. No, okay.
I wholeheartedly disagree, Zeto-san. I think Ukulele's problem was also its biggest success. It was Banjo-Kazooie. They didn't promise anything more, and they delivered 100% on that promise. And people didn't think that was enough. Because here's the thing. The Banjo-Kazooie that most people who Kickstart-funded Ukulele remembered was not the Banjo-Kazooie that actually existed, it was the Banjo-Kazooie through rose-colored goggles of nostalgia. People wanted the feeling they got when experiencing the Banjo-Kazooie as kids, and nothing can deliver that. Our childhood experiences with video games are completely immutable, and no game will ever be as good as them. Curse the Moon is really cool. I am frankly jealous of today's children growing up with Breath of the Wild. Oh god, that would be amazing. Like, the sense of wonder that is going to instill in modern children, it makes me very happy. Breath of the Wild is so good. I love it so much. That's one of my best- that's in my top five games of all time. Easy. I'm gonna hot disagree with you on that also, Spork. I think those games were excellently designed for children. Not to say that they were designed for children, because they weren't. But the way they were was great for children. Two robots left. I was hoping for sub 150, but I'll take sub 2. We can do better. on Dark Kane. Just because it isn't the same game you grew up with does not mean it's bad. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't be that person who thinks that the only good video games are the ones that were made 20 years ago simply by virtue of being made 20 years ago. Like them or not, big popular modern games are big and popular for a reason.
Okay, I think I have like exactly enough uh, Yamato spear shots. I'm gonna hard disagree with you on that one, Dark Kane. There's a reason Battle Royale style games are popular right now. Yup, I did have past tense exact ammo. All right, this is it. Can I get some excitement and encouraging things in the chat, please? For the last stage in the run? Also, some centaur man. Or some centaur girl, depending on how you like to look at things. Centaur man, centaur man, centaur man, centaur man, centaur man. Okay. I could have done the strat there. Ah, not quite. Do 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 Thank you for the bit, Stark King. Centaur man, 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 centaur all right, this is it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Easy. Boss is now front and centaur. Nice coyote, Seattle. Okay, I fixed the whole alerts not being a thing thing. So if you want to spam me with uh, money or something and want instant gratification in the form of flashing screen lights, feel free to go ahead. Thank you all for the G 